हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अभिषेक बघेरवाल वेलकम टू सेल्स फॉर सीपीक्यू सीरीज इन दिस व्हिडिओ आय एम गोना शो यू हाउ टू यूज लुकअप क्वेरीज इन प्रोडक्ट रूल्स यू कॅन यूज लुकअप क्वेरीज इन प्राइस रूल्स एज वेल बट इन दिस व्हिडिओ आय एम जस्ट गोना शो यू इन अ प्रोडक्ट रूल सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज व्हाय वी यूज लुकअप क्वेरीज व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ लुकअप क्वेरीज इन सीपीक्यू सो इन योर ऑन फॉर योर बिजनेस यू कॅन हॅव नीड ऑफ many product rules or price rules basically the need of many conditions okay so either you can create many product rules or many price rules or you can do one thing that is you can create multiple records of lookup data which represent the particular condition and you can use those records in a single rule okay so that removes your problem of proliferation which is basically uh, a lot of rules uh, any of them any like price rules or product rules so it's going to reduce that uh, problem so let's get started with that so here i have a product a smartwatch which is a bundle product as you can see there are some options and features are there and on this product i have configured a country configuration attribute that is accent it does have two values one is solid one is faded So as you can see, this is the attribute. Uh, this is the field on product option. Threaded and solid two values are there. So I'm gonna create two conditions. So those conditions where I'm gonna create each condition will be representing a lookup data object record. So I have that here. So what are what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna click create new. I'm gonna provide category as solid. and product let's say i'm going to go for let's see which product is not uh, selected already if we are selecting a smart watch so that product i'm going to use as you can see this usp c wireless charging pad is not automatically selected so i'm going to use this in our condition i'm going to make it required and what i'm going to do is when i'm selecting accent value accent configuration attribute value for a smartwatch product as solid then i'm going to show and add this product in the code line okay now i click save now one more condition i'm going to create that is for faded value okay the same product i'm going to use so in that case when the accent value is faded i'm going to hide and remove this product from code line save it So as you can see, two conditions, two conditions we have configured so far. Now let's create a product rule. Click new. So I'm just gonna say accent rule or any name you can provide. Type I am giving it as selection. Scope product. Click active. Conditions all. And evaluation event I'm giving it as always. now here comes the uh, part for lookup query so lookup query you need to select uh, the object and the fields which are going to be used to get the data to get the records of the conditions basically these records which we have created on lookup data object to fetch these records we need to configure some things over here so lookup object i am going to select lookup data this is our lookup data object type field i'm going to select type so type is nothing but what action you are doing basically so in this particular condition i'm doing hide and remove so that whatever value it does have you do not have to be worried about that here but you need to select the field and product field is this field required field is again this field okay now message field because we have not provided any message neither we needed the message because it's not a validation or alert rule 
it's a selection rule so no message is needed so i'm just going to save it now scroll down you do not have to give anything in error conditions because conditions we are going to get from the lookup queries so here is a list of a related list of lookup queries i'm going to click new match type i'm going to select as configuration attribute because we are going to use this configuration attribute value to match the conditions basically okay and which attribute i'm going to use accent that will come in the tested configuration attribute operator i'm going to give it as equals and lookup field so these fields are coming from a lookup data object so category category is this field which we have given so two records we have created for each category of the accent field so here what i'm i'm doing is i'm picking up the value of the accent configuration attribute and i'm trying to match it with the category field on the lookup data object records so that way i'm going to fetch the records okay now click save once that is done i'm going to define this rule for the smartwatch object click save so that is done the configuration part is completed now let's see it in action i have this code i'm just going to cancel it and refresh it once okay i'll go to code lines i'll select a smartwatch product now as you can see this product is not selected yet but it's gonna behave whether it is selected or not selected based on this attribute value so for for example i am giving the value as solid so in case of solid what are we doing if the value is solid then we are showing and adding this product usb c wireless charging pad so it's not selected i just selected the accent to value as solid click save now as you can see we have not selected the usb c char wireless charging pad but it is automatically selected because it is being um, managed by the value of accent using the product tool and condition is coming from the lookup data object now let's try to do another thing so what is another thing another thing is if you select category uh, sorry accent value as faded then we are doing the hide and remove for this product so we, let's reconfigure it so click on this icon this is reconfiguration line icon now i'm just selecting as you can see it is selected as of now but what i'm going to do i'm going to select the value as faded for accent click save as you can see that uh, usb c wireless charging pad is been removed so that is how you can manage a single rule and have multiple conditions based on the uh, lookup queries and lookup data records so that is very helpful uh, configuration in cpq it uh, it allows you to create just one rule and have as many conditions as as you want so that was all about this video if you like it please like it and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bagherwal thank you